let's look at our next uh, python exercise uh, what we are going to do today is see whether we can refine this previous program itself that is printing the bill uh, now what kind of refinement are we talking of if you look at this code it is one single function the main function itself everything is being done and if you have noticed in all my previous programs i have basically uh, created functions and then from main function i am calling all these various functions so let's do something like that so what what can we do so we could have one function def add item right and uh, we won't we don't know what exactly has to be accepted as parameters okay so let's let's begin let's take this the entire line item being accepted cut it and paste it okay now here if you notice gross total is undefined yes so that is something we will have to accept it so that it can be accumulated so let's say gross total okay so which means here we will have to rename this to g total now another uh, thing that is not there is line items so that again we will have to accept it so that we can keep adding to this so l items and we will rename this as l items append right and that will be returned back so what are we going to return we are going to return l items and the uh, g total okay l items and g total now why is it coming like this okay so we have taken care of one particular but we have to call that function from here yes so how do we call this uh, this particular uh, function line items comma total is equal to here we are returning these two items or rather two uh, values that will be stored in these variables and we will call add item and to this we will pass line items and the total okay so let's uh, call it total itself now or let's say gross total no let it be total okay since we already have gross total let's say gross total and this will also be gross total and any more items fine now the actual printing of the bill also can be taken out as a function so def print bill and what will we pass to it we will pass again line items line items will be passed so let's say l items comma total in this we will print this entire bill cut and paste and we don't have to return anything here now here we have to call this function print bill and we will have to pass line items and cross to so now we have add item as a function print bill as a function and we have the main yes now this line we don't require here because here it is being created and used now what's happening here all this is getting underlined with red so when we call this function of, uh, here l item is being received so let's rename this as l items right and uh, len of line no it is not line it is going to be something else what would that be that would be line i len of uh, remember we this is for i in range 
takes you line by line by line. J takes you within the line element by element. And we know that this line will contain only four items. Yes. So let's say four. Right. Zero to four is five. But when it is equal to four, it will come out of the loop. Okay. So line items. Similarly, here also line items. Ross total. Now instead of gross total, we have received it as total. Any other errors it is showing. Let's run it and see. So call gate 100 gram, price 45, 3, yes. Uh, now this yes, I am pressing but still it is repeating. But it is printing this. So what should we do? Here in main, while loop is there. So while more items, more items is true. So this print bill should go outside the slope. Yes. Now it should work. Okay. Call gauge, 100 gram, 45, 5, 4. Yes. Great. Now let's say nail polish, 105. Let's say one. No, it's perf perfectly working. So it was working in the previous version also. And in this version also it is working. So what is the difference? The difference is now we have made our code much more readable. Yes. And we have broken up our single block of code into functions. Where each function takes care of one particular aspect of the functionality that is required. This takes care of adding items. This takes care of printing the bill. And this main co just calls these functions as and when required. That's it. Bye.